Yeah. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. So uh, this is uh, the second stage. The last uh, time that we, uh, I, I had a chat with you, we were doing a uh, saw sampling. So all the results came in and uh, we found that uh, our saw pH is mainly between 5 and uh, 6. So probably you have to put somewhere around 600 kg, uh, that is uh, lime. So now um, we've come here with the contractors who are going to help us to do uh, the land clearing and uh, land uh, livery. So what is important to know is that as you are doing the land clearing, it's very important to be conscious of the environment and only clear where you're going to farm. If you're only going to farm, let's say, uh, 20 hectares out of 100, only clear that 20 hectares. If you're going to farm the whole 100 hectares, you leave patches for the land to be able to breathe. So in this case, you know where we have um, the small ant hills? These will need to be cleared and the land will need to be leveled. The, the reason is simple. Imagine the tractor comes to plow and the planter needs to plant. How does it even uh, reach the top? That is where, in terms of irrigation equipment, laying of the pipes, it becomes a, a challenge. So we brought our, our wow. uh, colleagues, uh, the contractors, to come and help us do this job. So this is uh, November, uh, the first week of November. In fact, we are late. This job needs to be done somewhere in September, October, uh, for the uh, climate of Zambia. But wow. it's, it's never too late. So once we do that, there will be clearing. We are bringing a bulldozer. That's the best to use. We will be clearing whatever that they clear and level. Uh, a tractor will come in to loosen the soil for uh, fine teeth. Then from there, we are also going to demarcate. Since it's 100 hectares, we need access points. We need access roads. We will have to also do the demarcate to, uh, to make sure that we put the roads. We need to put uh, water harvesting uh, dams strategically placed. We need to sink boreholes and also put other base infrastructure such as the fencing, the housing uh, and other amenities. What is important on, on, on castor, like I've said, like for any other crop, you need a leveled land. You need a fine tooth, where of two to probably somewhere up to uh, 15 to 30 centimeters. The reason why we are doing this is because this is a new and uh, virgin land. But from that point, we are going to be using minimum tillage in which we just uh, pass through put in some herbicides. After we put in some uh, herbicides, then pass through with a planter. That is our, our point. But since we are just starting, and there are a lot of tree stumps, there are a lot of ant hills, unfortunately, we have no choice but to just make sure that we level the land and clear. Then from there, it's full-fledged uh, conservation farming. So when we start the actual um, land clearing, the machines come on site. I'm sure that should be Wednesday because today is uh, Monday. Then uh, Wednesday, I will uh, keep you updated so that you see exactly what is going to be happening. But the takeaway from this is that when planning to clear your land, make sure you do it as soon as possible. Don't assume if you do today, if you say you want to clear today, tomorrow you start. Especially if you are hiring equipment. Because you find yourself in a situation whereby you have the money, but the equipment where you want to hire, they are booked. What do you do? It delays your project. So, from me, your, your agronomist, Ernest Sininza, cheers.